Okay, in this video, I'm going to provide a short demonstration of how to install Andrew Hayes process macro um, for SPSS uh, onto um, a Windows computer. Uh, just note that process does work on both Windows and Mac, so um, there are versions of it for, for each. So I'm my computer is a, a standard uh, PC uh, with Windows, so we're going to be demonstrating using that. So to download the uh, macro, we're going to go to this website right here, which you'll see it's uh, https colon backslash backslash processmacro.org backslash download dot html. So when you go to this website right here, um, you'll scroll down, you'll get some uh, details about what process is and so forth, so, uh, copyright information and so forth. And then down here, you'll see there's a nice red button, download process version 3.2. So I'm going to click on that. And when I do, the um, uh, you can see that uh, over here, there's a zip file that where um, the information is being downloaded to. So you can see that at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice that uh, this is actually opening up under my uh, downloads folder uh, on my computer. And you'll see that there's process for SAS, process for SPSS. And there's a number of other files with documentation and so forth. So it's really, those are really handy too. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little button right here, process version 3.2 for SPSS. And then you'll see that um, you know there's a syntax file right here, but we're not going to use that. We're going to actually build a custom dialog um, um, uh, menu system. And so we're going to click on uh, this button right here and then click on process um, um, this particular um, file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and copy. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and paste this down, paste this into my downloads folder. So I'm going to, uh, you know, paste that in. And so this is what's going to be used when I'm uh, installing a uh, process. So essentially what's going on is we're going to use SPSS to uh, install the, the, um, the, the process macro, but we can't do it uh, as long as the, um, the macro is, is uh, hidden within this uh, zip file. So what we're going to do instead, or what we've done instead, is extracted this uh, file right here, and so now we're ready to install. So um, at this point, what we'll do is, um, if I can find it, there we go, um, I will uh, go under Extensions and then Utilities, and then go over to Install Custom Dialog. And, and note, uh, the data that's in here, this is just was already opened up. So um, I just, I'm just kind of uh, showing you the installation, uh, even though there's a, a data set that's already active. So, but in this case, I'm going to go to Utilities, Install Custom Dialog, click on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my down download folder. So I'm going to go to that. And so here's the process uh, uh, macro right here. So I'll click on Open. And so you can see it says dialog files installed to analyze regression process by Andrew Hayes. So now when I go up to analyze, go to regression, and then go down to uh, process, you'll see uh, this is it right here. So uh, just a, a couple of details. So obviously over here on the uh, right, this is where you're going to lay out variables that are going to be within your model. Um, you know, basically, uh, the macro allows you to run various uh, uh, models incorporating mediation and moderation. And there's a number of templates that are already set up in the program. So if you click on this little drop down right here where it says model number, you select uh, the template that you want to work from. And then from there, you specify the variables associated with that uh, particular model um, over uh, to the right in these boxes um, here. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, you'll see there's uh, an option for uh, bootstrap samples. So you can basically, uh, particularly when you're uh, testing indirect effects um, uh, within mediational models, uh, you'll want to uh, test the statistical significance of the indirect effect. And so the way that this is done is through the use of bootstrapping. So uh, we essentially are generating um, bootstrap standard errors and then uh, using those with confidence intervals to, um, to carry out tests of the indirect effect. So just kind of note, uh, just as an aside, you know, model one basically is a standard um, moderated multiple regression where you'll have your X variable, uh, your Y variable, and then you would incorporate uh, a moder moderator variable uh, W right here. Um, and 
And uh, if you're going to do a standard three variable mediation model, then you would be uh, choosing uh, model number four. So uh, that's just kind of a couple of examples of what I'm talking about.